Hi everyone, this is a video based on 6 puzzles we did at the club not long ago and I hope you find them instructive and interesting. The first puzzle was by Alaska and your task in this position is to um, save the white knight which looks trapped and doomed. Um, if you'd like to try and find out how to, please stop the video now and if you haven't stopped the video, the answer is the very counterintuitive move, knight a8 because it puts the knight in a corner but now knight b6 is coming and this cannot be stopped because if queen a8 then check queen takes a8 picks up the queen via a skewer anyway I, I hope you enjoyed that one and on to the next one now in this one your task is to save the pawn um, it looks it looks like the um, knight and partner fox, but if you want to find the um, solution, then please stop the video now. The answer is b6. The knight can't be taken, otherwise the pawn queens. So the king has to move back, and now the king white king just gradually comes forward because the white knight can never be taken. It picks off this pawn and then wins. On to the, I hope you enjoyed that one and on to the next one. Here's, here's a study by Affect. You may have seen it before, um, but here it is. Well, first of all, the only move is G7 check. Obviously, the pawn can't be taken, otherwise, white queen. So, King H7, G6, King H6. Now, King F7 loses to Rook takes G7 check, so you have to Queen before playing it to divert the Rook off the pawn. After, and al although G7 goes now, after King H8, if the G6 pawn is taken in either way, it's a stalemate. And if the Rook moves, then the pawn moves. The only way to stop the Queen in, well, you can never play Rook takes G7 stalemate. Or check, and then White can Queen in, it's a draw. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one, and on to the next one. Now here is a very aesthetically pleasing study. Um, now, if you look, if you look at the position, um, Black's got two rooks against a rook and two minor pieces. However, Black's rooks are very vulnerable to skewering. So, in fact, in fact, what can happen now is Bishop f5 check. And now, just having a nice little sip appetizer. Well, if king c3, then knight takes b3, king takes b3, and bishop e6, and white will be a rook up for nothing. However, after bishop f5 check, the king moves, unleashing a discovery by the black rook onto the white king. However, the third check in a row happens where the black rook is taken by the knight with check. And now white is two pieces up, but now there is king e5. If king c3, then knight c1, and white is perfectly safe and winning. If king e5, though, there is a dual threat of the bishop and rook c3 check winning the knight on b3, and then it will be a draw. Bishop d3. <coughs> Rook c3 attacking two pieces, but now rook h5 check. Uh, the only move is king d6 to stop knight c5, otherwise the bishop will be protected. And now there is a killing move, knight d4, double exclamation mark. Because after the bishop is taken, king e4 is played, and the rook actually has the rook actually is trapped, surprisingly. Um, if, if say rook d2, then rook d5 check. Well, that's the same result as the game. If rook c3, then a knight fork. Rook a3 is also a knight fork, and so is rook g3. So, the only choice is rook d1, and now rook d5 check. And there is no way a black can avoid white winning the rook with a discovered attack. Say, um, if king c7, then this. Or uh, king e7, and then we have this, and then white's a rook and a piece up. So I hope you enjoyed that one, and I'll take the next one.
Now this one is by um, Trotsky and um, it's a queen and rook against queen and rook which should be a draw but white has some power tactics. There is a stunning, uh, there is actually a stunning move that wins the black queen with a series of checks by force and um, if you want to try and spot it please stop the video now. It is rook e6 check takes now queen a6 check if king d7 then queen b7 check wins the queen so king d5 and now queen c4 check if king e5 then queen c3 check wins the queen via a skewer and king d6 runs into queen c5 forcing the king back to the second rank seventh rank and then king d7 queen a7 check and amazingly enough winning the black queen is forced from rook e6 check Anyway, I hope you enjoyed that one, and on to the last one. In this position now, black is two pawns up, and one of his pawns is threatening to queen with check. So white needs to do something drastic to um, prevent black from winning this. For example, if c7, then queens and queen a8, and black is winning. So knight f2 check is forced. Now if king h4 amazingly enough white wins because white's threatening to queen with check. However he can play king g3 and after c7 a2 knight e4 check amazingly enough there is no square the black king can go where where it can be um well the black king only has certain squares and none of them can avoid a knight check because if black goes to the wrong square then white will win by queening with check. For example, king f3, knight d2 check, king e3, knight c4, king e4, etc. And you can analyse it yourself but there's no square the black king can go that avoids the knight and white queening with check. So therefore it is a draw by perpetual. And an amazing little perpetual of that just where it's just with a knight. And black's fed into queen in two ways. So I hope you enjoyed these aspectically pleasing studies. Please leave any comments and thoughts. Thanks very much.